Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn about cross-platform desktop application. Alright, so what does it mean cross-platform? So for example, you will be writing your code once and you will use the same code for creating a desktop application and you will use the same code for your website. Alright, so for this example, we will be using Electron JSON as a, JS as a library, which will do this job for us and the code we will be developing in the Angular. Alright, so now let's create a Hello World application. So I'll say ng new all right so i don't want uh, routing so that's why i'm saying no i'll simply uh, it's gonna take a while to download all the packages so let's go to this website and go to this uh, you know getting started kind of documentation all right so quick start i'm talking about it so what it's saying we just need to you know download this library which is over uh, here this one let's copy this one all right so once this is done we will put that and what it says you just give me the entry point from where i have to start the desktop application so for that what we can do we have to create a you know a, a file called main.js in that there is a uh, method called create window which you can see over here and this is the place path.join that's where you will put your index.html file path and what will happen when you will double click on that exe it will you know run that index.html in a desktop application mode it will, internally it's just a browser you know like a browser shell by the way you know like vs code is also developed using the electron i will show you once that uh, this part is over let's see yeah so download is over let's go inside this one and let me open this one in vs code and if you go to this help section here and click on about you will see see this is developed in electron and version is 13.1.8 all right so that means it's also a browser shell and the code is pretty much the cross platform kind of stuff all right so this is simple code let me run this i'll simply say <coughs> ng serve Let's run it. Take some time and uh, by default it will be running on localhost 4200. So by the time it's running I can type this. It will create the back. I mean like a build a test folder what you call it over here. Okay, so meanwhile it's running let's go back to this one yeah it has a lot of uh, you know like uh, methods also so you can if you want debugger if you don't want debugger those kind of things also you can write over here so you can disable if you want some kind of shortcuts like let's say for example let's say we say like control f and f2 those kind of things so also you can write over here and that you can just you know use a process state which is nothing but over here you, which you see here process model using that you can do all kind of sort of I mean, all sort of these things all right so looks like this build is ready and we just need to refresh this local host now all right so you can see this our hello world application is up and running let's port this one into the uh, desktop application so for that what we need to do we need to copy that command which i was talking about in the beginning let's copy this one i think i copied let's copy it again let's stop this one paste i'll remove this thing so this will install the electron package so that we can use the um, electron command all right so this is like a quite very fast let's create this uh, main.js uh, file first so what i'll do i'll just go over here and create a new file called main.js all right and i'll just put that code which i have shown you over there and here you just need to type this, this uh, you know, for index.html file path, which you can obviously see from here. So if you go to, um, okay, I didn't create the package. I will show you once we, once you will create the package, you will have the pretty much same, you know, path. You will be having a dist folder inside. You will be having your application name and then your index.html file. All right, which you can see in the package.json also. That's your application name. And this is by default is a, uh, 
the path which you can see over here in the angular json somewhere yeah it's over here output folder path all right if you want to change you can change change it over here all right so our main.js file is also ready let's copy this and we need to give an entry point over here in the package.json uh, we need to say our main file name is main.js so you can just put it over here all right and now electron will take this file and you need to say let's copy this command and it's here so you can see ng build this will build the code and then electron dot by default so you can directly say otherwise no need all right so this is done let's hit this command so as you can see it's building right now and obviously it will create the desk folder so let's go back here it's not created once it's created you should see the disk folder over here just gonna take uh, depending on your you know package size I would say code size so since our code is just a very plain simple code hello world kind of thing so it won't take much time so as you can see the package is also ready and the application is also up and running you can see over here so this is the disk folder if you go into this and here is your index.html file all right and this is your desktop application you can see it's desktop and this is browser this is browser all right and here also you have all the options and you can see here everything is there if you want debugger you will see the same you know uh, browser chrome chromium kind of shell if you want to inspect any element you just click on this and let's say you want to see this one see this will be somewhere not able to pick that uh, let me zoom it yeah it's here element and I'll just click it again you can see a resource here if I want to change you can just change to hello world I'll simply say see it's HTML all right if I F press F5 it's gone I mean this you can do all sort of thing all right let me close this one so this is running in a debug mode kind of thing let me show you how to create a package so that you can just give it to somebody and they can start using it all right so for that what you need to do you need to create a I mean you need to follow some commands for that you just simply go to package.json and add a new entry okay It is also the same thing you just need to say electron hyphen package that's a uh, package and you just need to tell which kind of uh, like, what is your you know and uh, platform so for example I am saying I want 64 bit I want a Windows 32 bit machine kind of like that if you want Mac then you put the Mac command which you can obviously get it from this website okay so let's hit this one I'll save this one and I'll copy this key script key name the same I will say simply npm run and that key so it will do the pretty much same thing it will just you know the package build is ready so we are doing in this uh, right now one step at a time in the final what we'll do we'll create a like a you know packet kind of a key which will do all this uh, you know in one shot so normally it takes again it's depending on the packet size hardly it will take I think one minute or less than that meanwhile we can make uh, our other key work scripts ready so what we can do we can just click on this and let it run first so that I can tell you what I'm trying to do now okay so our package is ready you can see over here demo app hyphen win 32 64 if you go inside this is your exe you just, have just simply double click on that and your desktop application is up and running the same thing all right now there is a one catch if you go inside this resource folder your entire source code is available 
and you want like your source code should not be you know easily available whoever is the consumer for example you are giving what you will do you will give this exe folder right this entire package to somebody so that they can use it but they can always see their code also obviously they can see in the browser also that's not a, i mean that's a different story altogether but yeah i mean like let's say you want to secure it so what you can do you can uh, zip it or archive it using the sf keyword so what for that what you need to do you just need to create one more script over here I'll just come outside and paste here all right so what it's saying it will go inside this folder resource app and it will create a resorted as a app dot as a file all right so let's run this one so this should be like first this should run and in the end this should run so we will do in all in together also but right now I'm showing it one step at a time Okay, so we need to download this package so for that what we can do we can just simply say install npm install as well. okay this is also done so now let's run this archive folder script And you will see a new file will be created inside your know, resource folder and later then you can delete this app folder <laughs> it won't take much time by the way Once this is ready what we will do we will club these three commands into I mean not three these two commands into one all right so and then you will simply say like a tag it or create it or some any any key name you can give it and then it will be uh, done for you so right now we did two steps first we created the package then we just archived it all right now in third step we will just you know I mean do it together all the things so now let me delete this folder is delete anyway I can still I'll show you meanwhile you can see our text application is up and running and I think it's also deleted you can see it's deleted if I, if I click it uh, click on that exe again you can see it's still running all right so now we did in two step first we created the packet then we archived it all right now we will do it together in both this so what we'll do simply say um, right now I am saying something like a packet so what I'll do I'll just go here so if you see it's doing pretty much same thing it's creating the build first then it's creating the package and in the end it's just archiving so it's nothing but same three commands all right so let's save this one and we will copy this one and this time we will hit If you want I can delete these things also okay so everything is gone now let's run it again same way you can you know port this uh, code into your mobile application also for that you can use phone gap or like you can use Cordova those libraries are also there so using that you can create your mobile application so same code base for multiple platforms you can create a website you can create text application you can create mobile apps so you can see right now the build is done that's why you are able to see this test folder now it's creating the package I think the package is also done looks like let's see and now it's just archiving that once that is done your application will be up and running and later yeah one step is manual right now still you can write the script for that to delete this also while doing the archive I mean the once the archive is done delete this app folder also and then it will be ready to ship 
there are other modules are also there for that you want to some kind of a installer or something like that right now it's just like a single click one all right so this is done if you want let's delete it again and if I go here double click it will work all right that's pretty much about this video thank you very much